Elohim, and we go up into the angelic world. And as we go, there's a whole bunch of stages from the Pesuk of Zimra through nature and understanding there's, there's one behind nature, into miracle, the crossing of the sea, into what we, we saw behind the facade of nature. And we pointed and said, this is the one. He's, this is God. God's revealing himself. And the babies in their mother's at their mother's breasts and the babies in their mother's stomachs, the stomachs became transparent and the babies pointed out and said, wow, that's the one I saw when I was up in heaven. It was like revelation, revelation, revelation. And then again, we move out of the gravitational force field of the earth and we go up and we go up and we go up with the angels and the angels are the haofanim, the chayot kodesh berash gadol, mitnasim, neumat, asrafim, and the ofanim, which is asiatic, the asiatic angels. And the, and the, and the, Chayot, which are the Yitziratic angels, they both jump up, they both reach up to the Seraphim, which are the Briatic angels. All of creation, in a sense, moving back towards the Creator. Up, up, up. <coughs> we, want to, we want to go back to you. We want to be with you. We want to merge into you. And then we go into the Shema and we say, Whoa, Hashem, stop the world. I want to get off. The world is so amazing, and it reveals your existence. But you know what? Up to a certain point, it reveals your existence, but beyond that, it hides you. So I want to go and now stop the world. I don't want the world. the world. The world indicates your existence, but it also hides you. I want to, I want to pierce through the world. Echad. Shemay Yisrael Hashem Yitzhak Echad. You are one. I want to connect to your oneness. I can't stand not being connected to your oneness. Echad is ech ein chotzet davar. Shlomo said back in 1976 when I was at a, a retreat with him in New Jersey somewhere. Ein chotzet davar. Echad is aleph chet dalet. Ein chotzet davar. No thingness intervenes. There's no thingness. It's all an illusion. On that inner level, we connect to the oneness. And we need to do that. It's a mitzvah to do it, and we need to do it. Because then we can live in the world as Jews. But if we don't, if it's superficial, if we miss it every day, and it's just a bunch of words, and we rush through it, right? Bad scene. So this is Shin Dalat Yud, Hashem's name, which the Chazal say means, He who said enough to the world. Enough. Enough. Stop. Very nice. I want more than the world. The world hides God. I want God. Wow. So that, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Can you cover while we cover our face? Yeah, Hashem says in Deuteronomy 30, which is, um... Or he says it, maybe I just say, he says it in Parashat, in Parashat, uh... Vayelech, I think he says, I will surely hide my face. <coughs> well, Shem Tov said about that that if something is hidden you look for it because you, you know it's hidden but if it's, it's the fact that it's hidden is hidden is, is a double hiding so I, I always felt that our double hiding closing my eyes and covering my face is our response to his double hiding you're double hiding I'm double hiding oh, well, I'm not hiding from you I want to hide the world and go through and pierce the world to get to you, past your double hiding. It doesn't make total sense, but, I, but it, that's the way I think about it. Well, it's more about the idea of Shema, hearing, yeah. and enhancing the sense of hearing by closing our eyes, which is uh, on our level, so nice. we can hear better. Beautiful, that's totally. Nice. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the, uh, the eye of Shema is almost like two eyes popping up above and saying, now if you really hear, I can show you now even more, you can see. You can't see with the eyes of this world. You have to see with spiritual eyes. So in order to do that, you hear first, and then I'll give you now your spiritual vision. Plus, your false to Shema also means, I heard another interpretation, that means, like, understand. Not understand. just stand. Because when it comes to davening, you're supposed to say the words. Not hear the words. It's all my focus and, and brokas. But, uh, ah. but it says you're supposed to, like, understand that Hashem is one. You know, Hashem is one. God, Hashem is one. Yeah, it's Bina. It's a Bina process. Yeah. Shmiya is, b- is Bina. Ri'i is Chochma. Chachma is a thing where you can look at entire, if you're standing in Tzfat, you're standing on a high mountain somewhere, anywhere in the world, you can see the entire coastline, you can see the entire 
city beneath you in one second. But there's an advantage to it and a disadvantage. The advantage is you can see it all in one second. The disadvantage is that you can't see the details. A symphony you cannot hear in one second. It would be a, a garble. Hearing necessitates something moving in one note at a time, in time. So Chochmah is above time, but it lacks intimate connection with it. It's outside of me. Bina is within time, and it takes longer, but it's going in. So they say angels have <coughs> Chochmah consciousness. They have the ability to grasp things and to, to transmit thoughts in split seconds, like a computer. But we're not. We have to think about things. We have to understand them. We have to internalize them. And that's good. What about that? The not to know? There you go. So, <laughs> so where was I going? Is that the advantage of hearing is that it's insight. And Bina, as the Gemara says, is Bina is a lahavin davar mitoch davar. Is to understand one thing from another. Deductive reasoning. And that's exactly what we do when we say the Shema, which is I know from the fact that there's a world that you must be the one behind it. It's just that it's, it, I can't get it yet. I know that it must be, but I now want to pierce through. It, again, Bina, I know from this that there's that. I know from the many that there's one behind the many. So, and then just Shimon Esrei is a Chochmah level when we stand up and we confront, we have the ultimate I Thou experience where it's not a mm -hmm. mental process. Shimon Esrei is not rational. It's a chokhmah level. It's direct. It's a direct relationship. That's why most of us find it so hard to concentrate during the Amidah. You don't even know where you are. You just said a whole paragraph, and you now find yourself at the end. And you say, well, I must have said it. Thanks a lot. You know? <laughs> so I have like ways, of, ways and means of being aware in the process. But, um, Let's hear that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you said it. Yeah. For instance, in the first bracha, which is the most important, you, what, I, um, what I've learned from doing meditation, Jewish meditation, which I think we have to do one, is that you can, movement can move from, from like moving your head and your eyes to just moving your eyes inside your head. And then it can move from moving your eyes to not moving your eyes, but to move your mind. Hmm. <coughs> Why would I want to do that? To minimize and to go in more and to minimize externality. Because I want to touch on something that's, that's inner. So in my mind, when you say, besides the incredible thing called bowing, when we come up, we say Baruch Ata Hashem, which is like coming up above the cloud level of a Chinese painting of a mountain. Wow, we're above the clouds. I've just been born to another level of consciousness when I come up in a bow. So I, I write about that in a whole chapter called The Mystery of Bowing, because these simple things are where it's at. Right? Bowing is an incredibly an incredible moving process, but it's, if it's done perfunctorily, you lose the whole essence of it. So anyway, when you, when you say Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Velokei Avoteinu, try and say it slower. Then you say Elohei Abraham, it's slightly to the right. Elohei Tach is slightly to the right, left. Okay, Yaakov is slightly in the, is, is, in, is in the middle. El Hagadol is to the right. Hagibor is to the left. Oh. The Hanura is in the middle. <laughs> Komeach Hasadim is to the right. Koneakol is to the left. The Zochech Hasdeavot is in the middle. Now, the, the rest could be all in the middle, or it could be even a slight <laughs> right. <coughs> Maybe Goel, the Vnei Benihem, the Man Shemo, the Anaba. It's a whole spherotic thing here. It's subtle, and, um, and it helps you by doing the subtle movements, the right and to the left inside of yourself, down, it helps you to actually be there when you say 